Hey everybody, it's Ryan. I've decided that I have stayed off the internet long enough. And um, reason being is I stopped recording everything that I was doing because I wanted to start trying to interact with them a whole lot more. And the camera really does hinder that. I mean, it, they, they tend to shy away from you by a lot more if you record all the time, you know, anytime you're out in the woods and stuff. So, um, I think now though, I've kind of established an, uh, something with them. So I don't think it's really gonna, uh, cause me to digress too much. I hope not anyway, but I wanted to show you guys this stuff because I've had so many people message me over the last several months, however long it's been, and uh, telling me how much they missed the videos and seeing this stuff. And I don't want to deprive my viewers and subscribers who have been with me from the get go from seeing everything you know that I find out here that the Sasquatch still build out on my property. So I am uh, going to resume my videos like I used to and there's plenty of stuff now to show you guys so anyway I found this this morning though I looked off the side of the road and um, there was a massive X structure back there that I could see clearly but first when I first walked out here I noticed this tree bend right here and it's really interesting because it goes right through where those trees split or that tree splits looks like it's grown into one now and um, it's pretty cool I'll show you guys right here you can see it goes right through there and it originates right here and you know i see a lot of sticks leaning up through the fork of trees and uh I usually don't see them bent through them though. So that's that's pretty neat right there. And there is also another small tree bend right here. And you can see where this one is anchored down and it's tucked in amongst all those small sticks. And you know, I'm pretty sure that the juveniles do this stuff. They always do it really close to the ground. But I mean, you can see the intricacies of where they put that right through that little fork of that stick. You know, I mean, there's just so much that they do. When you look closely, you can always see stuff that will uh, make you realize that it's not just coincidental deadfall and stuff. I mean, even right here, if you get down there and you can see real closely where they wrapped a twig right around this one. That's poking up there. Or actually, it's just laying on there. This stick right here. You can see where it's wrapped right over that. And I've seen them do that before with an X structure that I found in one of my very early videos. But it's just so neat how they do these small intricacies like that. It never ceases to amaze me the things that they do. I mean, I've seen hundreds of structures and I'm still amazed by every single one of them. There's another tree bend right there. Didn't notice that before. It's anchored by this stick right here. Small one. Um, let me get to what show, what uh, turned me on to this place to begin with. Right here. Huge X structure. Huge X. And it is super cool. Ah, look at that. Perfect X. I mean, they don't get any more perfect than that. It's amazing. And you can see where it's laying right up there on that tree. And this other one is going way up there. Way, way up there.
and I'm going to get behind it, see if we can get a better hole shot of it. Yeah, there's so much stuff around here though, and you can see I'm like in the, in like a little valley here. There's, you know, hills all around me. And they're probably up there watching me, I'm sure of it. Get back here and show you guys. Like that just super cool. And they built that perfectly. And I mean, it's big. Yep. I'm just still amazed by this stuff. All these years of seeing these and. Every time I see a new one, I'm just amazed by it. And it's been really hard not to record everything. <laughs> but I've literally been leaving the camera at home. Not even taking my phone with me. But um, anyway, I'll go down this way and show you guys another bend that I came across when I walked up here. This one's neat too. Right there. And you can see there's all this stuff right here laying on the ground. And you can see where this tree right there is bent over and anchored right there. But then we have another slight bend right here. And it's actually anchored down on that bent tree. That's pretty neat. It's always interesting to find two of them in conjunction like that. Yeah, I don't see it terribly often, but I have seen it before. And uh, anyway, there was another X too that was up this way that I saw when I drove past here before I stopped. And uh, I want to go see if I can find it. It's on this hill up here somewhere. Let me see. I think that's it right there. There's a lot of stuff hanging over here. I don't know if that's deadfall or not. I'm not going to say they did that. Because I can't tell for sure, but it's like a pretty trodden trail through here, actually. Going right up through that way. There, that. I believe that is something that they've done. Anyway, I'm not going to speculate too, too much on this though, because I mean, in reality, that could have been placed there by nature, but just can't ever tell for sure with things like that one. The other one, I'm pretty sure it's not nature that did that because when you find them that are that perfectly made and that precise and then you find all that other stuff around it you can pretty well bet that it was them it was the Sasquatch that made it there's a lot of stuff up here though and I don't really have a whole whole lot of time to check it all out and hike around but I will be coming back up to this area and looking around some more and showing you guys everything that I find. There's all kinds of stuff right there and it looks, looks like something may have been sitting back there. It's pretty compressed. So anyway. yeah, it looks like a pretty compressed area. In the summertime, I'm sure that's well hidden. 
when all the foliage is out. Yep, pretty neat. But I'm going to uh, make this video a little shorter, I guess. I'm head back. But I'm going to be back with you guys pretty regularly now. I haven't kept up with anything really that's been going on in the Bigfoot world because there's too much going on in my Bigfoot world for me to worry about anybody else's right now but uh I get the feeling I hadn't missed much everybody's still chasing them and probably hadn't figured out what they really need to do yet I had to show you guys that X. It was just too good to pass up for sure. It's one of the best ones I've found in a long time. We'll take one more look at it. It's just so cool. Those always just amaze me. I don't know if that's even supposed to be one, but it's crossed. That's weird. Huh. I wonder because, see, this X, this tree right here is leaned up into that one. And then you have this one right here crossing it. And it's making an X even higher. And it's still part of that one. I don't know if it was meant to be that way, but that's pretty neat nonetheless. Huh. Since it seems like they placed it like that, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's one that you could see from that direction, higher up on that hill, and then one when you come off from the creek or the road that you can see right there. Because those are boundary markers. That's that's what they are. That's what they mark. Territorial markings right there. That one's just so good. It's really, really neat. Anyway. Leave me a comment, guys. I've missed talking to a lot of you. A whole lot. And uh because I've I've known some of you for years now. And I know some of you have followed me from the very beginning. And I've missed discussing things with you and all that. And so if you're still watching me, I appreciate your dedication. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to head back right now. But I will be back with more stuff. And uh, I know where so much more stuff is that I just haven't shown you guys. And I guess since it's so nice today, we've, I mean, we've had like tons of snow here and it's just been crazy cold, but too cold for life, especially when you're a southerner, you're not used to that whatsoever. And uh, today it's like 60 something degrees, 65, 67, somewhere around there. It's super nice. So I decided today was the day to get back on it. Anyway. Thanks for checking it out. And as always, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, I hope to hear from everybody that I haven't heard from in a long time. So I've missed a lot of you guys. Anyway, I'll be back a lot sooner than I was this time. You can count on that. Thanks for watching. <laughs>